welcome to Morning Manna with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, back to the Bible. And the king went up into the house of the Lord, and all the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with him, and the priests and the prophets, and all the people, both small and great. And he read in their ears all the words of the book of the covenant, which was found in the house of the Lord. 2 Kings 23, verse 2. There are many religions in the world today, and though I am a Christian, I do have respect for many aspects of other religions, especially when it comes to their commitment, their devotion to what they believe. We find that when a child is born into a Muslim house, that child is a Muslim. The same can be said for a Hindu. But what I've also observed with religion in these last days is that Christians are some of the most troublesome religious people you can find on the earth. The Bible is our guide, it is our GPS, it is what God gave us to navigate us through this earth. But yet we choose to go about it our own ways and doing our own things. Many of us came to be religious, but now religion is more of a fashion statement rather than professing the truth of God. Yes, it's about those who can wear their Sunday best. Many of us have lost true focus, where the church is now a place of amusement and worship is more of entertainment rather than an experience. There are many persons where if their co-workers were to come to their church on a Sunday, that co-worker would be surprised because they did not know that that individual was a Christian. Because at work, every gossip they're in it, they malice, they steal, they lie. They are just ordinary. Many persons invest so much in their children's education and they'll spend thousands of dollars to buy them all the books that they need to get them through school. They make sure that their children have a strict studying routine and sometimes they have to stay up late at night and study because they want a good grade. Yet sadly, those same parents will not take time out to ensure that that child reads even a scripture per day. Many times in an effort to make sure that our children achieve something in this life, we let them take extra classes, send them even to summer school, but yet we're not willing to send them to Sunday school. We spend hours on our phones on social media surfing the net and we can't spend even a half an hour studying God's word. Yes, many of us don't treasure the word of God, but it's time to go back to the Bible. As unbelievable as the story is with Josiah, we see where the Torah, the books of Moses, which was instruct the children of Israel how they should walk and talk before the Lord. That book, get this, get this, was lost in the house of the Lord. Yes, let me break it down for you. Have you ever lost something and been searching for it and couldn't find it until after a while cleaning down your dresser or under your bed, you realize that that thing that you've lost has been actually stuck under your dresser? Well, yes, it's a similar scenario. For years, the word of God has been lost to the people of God. Nobody took time out to make sure that they found the laws of Moses. And so we had generations growing up who never heard the laws of Moses, who knew nothing about the Passover. And only by accident, they found the word of God. The amazing thing though, is that when Josiah heard what was written in the law, he rent his clothes in repentance to God. And he ensured that all the prophets and the priests and all the people, both young and old, came to the house of the Lord and Josiah took them back to the Bible. God is calling for us to rekindle the fire that we've had for the word. Rekindle the zeal that you've lost to study God's word. Yes, we've mastered the art of speaking in tongues. We've mastered the art of giving a praise break dance. We've mastered the art of looking fancy. David said, where it all shall a young man cleanse his ways? But by taking heed unto God's word. Ah, it was David again who said that the word of God is sweeter to him, sweeter than the honey and the honeycomb. It seems that David loved the word of God so much that David said, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I would not sin against thee. What am I saying, saints? In order for us to know God's will for our lives, we've got to get back to the Bible. In order for us to know the move of God, we've got to get back to the word. Yes, take away that iPad from that child and give him a Bible. Put your phone down for a minute and read a psalm. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. It's time to get back to the Bible. The quote of the day, in order for us to know God's will for us, we have to read God's word. As you go today, go doing like Josiah, making a new covenant with the Lord. 
that with all my planning and my scheduling, I'm going to schedule God's time. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. We make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light in the darkness.